All right, man. <clears throat> I got into the short-term rental game sooner than expected. It was not expected. And everything happened so quick. And let's just say last night, I put my first listing up and around 5.30 p.m. put it up. And by 10 o'clock that night, I already had the first nine nights booked. Wow. In this video, I'm gonna share how that all happened. Didn't go as planned on starting short-term rental this early. But all in all, it is a good thing. And what all happened the past 24 hours. And uh, yeah, make sure you stay for the video. We're just gonna get right into it. So I was in the market ready to buy again. Ready to buy, picked up a property, had different plans. And as we know, things always change and yeah, I ended up deciding that I was going to turn this property into a short term rental. And a lot of people call it an Airbnb, but I talked to people that are in the short term rental business. They said, no, 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 you don't call it an Airbnb. Airbnb is a platform to put your short term rental on. And as we know, in 2020 on what happened with everything and the illness, uh, Airbnb, if you had your stuff on Airbnb and that's the only platform you relied on, you probably suffered, you know, during that that year. So. We're trying to be recession proof here. And so you can use in a short term rental, not only Airbnb, but you can use VRBO, booking.com. There's so many different platforms, or you can just go off a referral basis and rent to referrals. If you know, you've got a cool place. I don't know, or not cool place, but demand for people to want to stay there and demand for you to like this video just because it really helps out the channel. Do it, do it. So yeah, I decided to jump into the short-term rental game sooner than expected. I've always wanted to. I know the returns are really good. I look at short-term rental compared, or I look at real estate compared to stock market as like way better returns. And then you have your long-term rentals, which are your, you know, safer, like the dividend investing of, of stock market. It takes a little bit longer to build up. And then there's short-term rentals, which are like the crypto of, of real estate and it just boom way more volatile but a lot more opportunity for really good returns I mean, people are out here getting 100 percent returns dang even way more than that annually which is unheard of in in stocks unless you're like a legendary day trader or something make million dollar yeah, deals right. with smart important people unlike you so had really no clue what i was doing but i knew needed furniture i went out to the furniture store and i was looking around at the, at the price tags i was like this couch is fifteen hundred dollars let me check online and see if you know there's there's cheaper this couch is cheaper online and i did i found the furniture store's website and i'm like hold up wait a minute something ain't right you have this you have for sale for 1500 and online it's like 700 and i was like do you price match and they said yes we do price match so i was like okay this makes no sense in my head why you haven't marked up so much in the store maybe a nice little business strategy to get people to spend more i don't know but they did price match so ended up getting a lot of furniture for four thousand dollars now for me that was kind of a bargain i thought because i expect to spend a little bit more i got uh two really nice bed frames two mattresses two box springs uh two uh, nightstands, nice nightstands, two dressers with a mirror. And if you haven't already realized, this is a two bedroom uh, house. We got two couches, um, only one living room. We just put you know, two couches in there. Uh, dining room table, four dining room chairs. We got a nice little sitting artsy chair. We got two other tables. We got a coffee table to put in front of the couches. I got some other stuff too. It was a whole truckload full. But anyways, got on top of it got this thing furnished and then I kind of looked online for some guidance on some things that you forget about when it comes to furnishing and you know amenities you would have in a short-term rental got this thing ready way quicker than expected and decided imperfect action baby that's what it's all about let's throw it on the market so I want to start with Airbnb first just so I can master each platform as I go I didn't really know how to price the short-term rental so I used price labs a website that takes analytics and data in your area based on demand and occupancy rate on short-term rentals and it does dynamic pricing so it'll change the pricing so if i've got a listing tomorrow that or uh, uh, no bookings tomorrow it's going to be a lower price whether if someone were to book further out you're going to want the price higher because 
you know, there's more time to book it, but in the short term, you know, it's a little bit lower. So I threw it up at like 5.30 p.m. and by 10 o'clock p.m., the first nine nights, the first day you could even book were already booked. I was like, let's go. And it wasn't from one person. Cause you know, one person could book nine nights and could be lucky, but it was from multiple people. So I was like, okay, maybe I have something. Here. Well, I'm, I'm looking to turn it up a bit, you know? <laughs> and I look too, there is the holidays, but it is the off season, you know, it's cold. Um, definitely people traveling for the holidays and I think that's what it is, but we'll see, especially when it gets into January, um, the off season, if it's still gonna stay booked up. Because like I said, I just listed this thing. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm gonna share on this channel because that's what it's all about, learning. Um, I'm gonna share it as I go and maybe show you this journey. So let me know if you wanna see that. And again, smash the like button because it'll motivate me more to show. So I've got my first guest staying in the property tonight and I'm booked the next nine nights. So we'll see how this goes. Um, a lot of trial and error. One of the things that also helped out is I signed up for hospitality, which is sends automatic messages. So there's a lot of messages when they book the night before or the day they come to give them the door code. The first night, make sure they don't need anything. The night before they leave and when they leave to to uh, to leave a review at your place. Cool. So what's the plan? Like, do do I is this is this it? No, I definitely want to scale this business. I like this business model, and I want to scale this business model because the returns are really good and generate cash faster, and I can roll that into uh, more more long-term rentals, more crypto, more just index funds, and diversify more. Because it's all about creating that capital, especially when you get started. Create that cash flow and that foundation, and then roll that into other assets that will pay us over time. Yeah, I just pile up my money. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and. Like I said, I'm no expert. I'm learning as I go. I uh, just wanted to take massive action. I always call it massive. Sometimes they say huge. I said, why, why wait? Okay, if I just force myself to do it, I'm gonna force myself to make mistakes and that's gonna force me to learn. So that's what I did. So if you wanna do something, just go out and do it. Don't, don't overthink it, just do it, make mistakes. Uh, that's the best way to, to really get to where you wanna go. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button if you haven't. Subscribe button as well, notification bell. Until next time, Evan Dante signing out. Peace.